I would like to share one incident uh, which definitely give you some input to all young engineers how to do something different rather than your uh, routine work. See, in GHL, uh, we have one equipment called uh, briquette machine. We have imported this machine from Germany, Copern. In this machine, we have one uh, die segment uh, which is giving us uh, production of uh, 20,000 metric ton and that die segment was costing us 78 lakhs rupees. I took that challenge, let us uh, try to develop this thing in India and uh, reduce the cost as well as let us uh, take this thing as a, one of the best challenge. I work hard on this. Ultimately, I developed this in one of the small factory of Ahmedabad and that factory has developed this die at the cost of 9 lakhs rupees. And another feature of that thing, that die is giving life of 27,000 metric ton. Means life cycle cost also increased and price also decreased. So that's how uh, that incident definitely give you some insight how to do the things differently rather than doing uh, simple things. That incident uh, will give a lot of energy to my that supplier also because now that supplier has uh, approached other industries where the corporate has uh, supplied this type of machine and now he has flourished uh, those business opportunities and is doing very good. He had 10-20 people. When I started uh, this job with that gentleman, he was the only person with one small factory and now he has flourished with 20-25 people and uh, very good size of uh, factories with lot of machineries. So this thing you must take care and you must do some innovation in your day-to-day -day procurement. Definitely this is something which is very big and something which is very important to us also because it's not about developing one part. It's all about uh, uh, actually cracking the comfort zone Correct. and then coming out of that comfort zone and taking the risk and setting one own company and then uh, actually feeding about uh, 20 families. families and it's not about only those 20 families but it's all about nearby shops also and many I mean <laughs> many things so it's actually a society or a national building activity that you have done sir actually. I, I always uh, put uh, those things it's a basically inclusive growth the correct word is inclusive growth because that small incident gives the inclusive growth of lot many people. So that how you have to do uh, something different in your life. And uh, I mean, in spite of being so much experience, you actually trusted a young person. <laughs> so again, thankful to you for trusting a young generation. Actually, see, uh, I, I always feel that young people, so they don't have any fear. You know, the conventional people like me, because I have a lot of uh, barriers in my mind with my experience, while the fresh mind which is a blank slate. You can write whatever you want to write. So I choose that young entrepreneur. He was a very small person. I know that he doesn't know what he is going to lose. So he takes the risk. And ultimately, we are successful and uh, develop this, that thing uh, in a particular way. And it is running very successful in my company. And it gives me satisfaction. And uh, I, I, I feel that, that gentleman has uh, grown and he is doing good in his uh, life right now. So Mr. H. S. Goswami, actually it's not about me who is actually thankful to you, but uh, the, the people who, the hundreds of people who are actually uh, getting the daily life of their foods, the, who are actually getting good job because of you and uh, a lot many relatives who are actually dependent on them actually. They, so it's not about thanking from my side, it's only thanking from hundreds and uh, hundreds of people actually whom you have provided a permanent source of uh, employment directly and indirectly. Correct. And uh, it's also a very good source of national building. We know that this is actually just one incident out of uh, your huge oh. life, huge lifespan. There would be hundreds of in such incidents wherein you have actually, uh, actually directly indirectly set up one uh, factory, small or big. And then uh, based on that factory, many people got employment and that 
that's how actually society uh, financially or economically got strengthened so we are thankful to you for actually actually uh, thinking about our, our own people and coming up with something which is uh, very different and very innovative also sir and uh, it was pleasure talking to you sir actually uh, we know you're a busy man but still you gave us an ample of time we sure you shared about your insights about your life uh, in detail and uh, thankful to you sir thank you very much